Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing of the Xperia XA1 Ultra from Sony. This is the budget 6-inch screen that Sony released this year. I think it was around June or May of this year, 2017. And I only purchased it today for $349. Yes, normally this smartphone goes for $399 unlocked but i actually purchased it for 349 dollars at best buy but i'm gonna leave a link for this device on amazon if you actually prefer to buy from amazon it's at the same price 349 dollars this smartphone actually has a 23 megapixel main camera 16 megapixel front camera with flash six inches uh 1080p screen um usb c which is kind of great because for a uh, uh, budget smartphone usb c that's that's almost unheard of um only a 2700 milliamp per hour battery now that is a little bit worrying there because it's only 2700 mill milliamp per hour battery but sony has a good rep when it comes to battery life and it has a mediatek helio p20 octa core processor which runs i think is at 3.1 2.3 gigahertz and 1.4 gigahertz something like that and it has a 32 gigabytes of internal storage now keep in mind this smartphone is actually unlocked and it's compatible with all gsm carriers so if you have at&t t-mobile um walmart the walmart services metro pcs this phone is actually going to be compatible with all that so right here in the box you're only going to get a usb-c cable and only you're going to get a charging uh adapter for the wall and that's it and a lot of instruction manuals and here oh my god i actually got it white because i love smartphones in white and i especially love smartphones that it's not only white in the back, but it's also white in the front as well. And for me, it looks super, super attractive. Uh, this right here has a film in the front. So let's go and take it out. There you go. And take that out. And there you have it. Look at that. That looks so freaking awesome. So right here in the front says Sony. You have the flash right there. You have the 16 megapixel camera right there. Um, over here, it looks like it has front-facing um, speakers, but it really doesn't. The speaker is actually right here. So like you see there, you got the speaker right there, and you have the USB charging port right there. And this is where you're going to go ahead and put the micro SD card and the nano SIM card as well. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put a nano SIM card right here because I'm actually going to be using this phone as my personal phone for a while while i do my video reviews so right here is where you're going to put the micro sd card and over here this is where the nano sim card is actually going to go like and and it goes slides in just like that and right away i already have my nano sim card right there from t-mobile and over here in the back this is a 23 megapixel camera which is great with a flash as well it's going to take this out this is a little drawing there just to let you know how to put the sim card and look at that it has the xperia logo right there and it has the nfc logo right there which is good because a lot of times um, budget smartphones don't actually have this this is really really bright sometimes budget smartphone don't actually have nfc and it's great to know that this actually has nfc so that means you're going to be able to pay uh using android pay with this smartphone which is awesome so right now i'm going to go ahead and wait for this to load up let's see how long does it take looks pretty cool very nice animation there uh, and of course i really like the fact that like you see here this is a 1080p screen six inch um, aspect ratio i believe it's 16 by 9 and what's cool about this version of the smartphone is that it's almost like you see here the bezels on the side it's almost invisible very 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 thin vessels in the on the side which is awesome that's really really awesome so the big bezels right now on this phone is on this side and on this side because honestly for me it's not a big deal because when you hold the phone and you're playing video games 
uh, you actually need a you know a little bit of real estate on this side on both sides but it's also cool that it doesn't have you know bezels on either side right there um, and over here of course you got the power button you got the volume button and what's awesome cool about this smartphone is that it has a dedicated button for your camera yes a dedicated button for your camera so what i'm gonna do right now is gonna, i'm gonna completely load up my information here and i'm gonna set up the phone a little bit to my liking then i'm gonna go ahead and continue with the second part of the video okay so finally i just finished setting up the smartphone all i did was um install the latest update that was available for the smartphone enter my user account for google and basically that's it right now in the background is actually updating a whole bunch of applications that need to be updated oh i guess it already finished like but you see there all these applications they were actually updated um so one thing let's go and show you guys the skin here of this smartphone like you see here this is how it looks when you swipe down right here on the screen uh right now this is using by default the swift key which is really good for a lot of people that actually like the swift key um sliding feature which i really really use a lot like you see here this swift key feature is available there by default which is awesome um this is how the dialer actually looks let's go and load it up there you go that's how the dialer actually looks which actually it looks like uh like the normal the normal google application which is really good here you got all these google applications that are available by default you got them all there the only one that i installed was this one right here because of course that's my youtube creator app and i like having that always available on my smartphones now over here you slide it right there you have the toggles right there you have wi-fi bluetooth and all that mobile data there you got the flashlight which is not bad really bright oh almost dropped the phone right there and you got the hotspot you got the cast you can edit here as well you can add location battery percentage and all that data saver and a whole bunch of stuff there as well um here when you tap right there this is how it's gonna look the multitask window which is not bad and of course if you want to clear all you just click right there and it clears all if you press and hold right here Hi, you're gonna I'm have google assistant, google assistant I can help you find what you need and get things done if you need help just yeah. ask what can you do so how can i help so you guys see there google assistant works perfectly good on this smartphone over here if you tap right there it doesn't do anything right now if you slide like this it has the one-handed feature uh, for those that think that the screen is too big so you have the one-handed feature all you got to do is slide from the bottom and it activates it and also if you want to turn it off you can actually turn it off in settings as well that i just realized that uh, another cool thing about this device is that since it has a camera button right there which is awesome uh, all you got to do to launch the camera is press and hold and it launches the camera right away that's pretty damn awesome and to take a picture you can either tap right there right or you can use it like a normal uh phone or normal camera and just press right here slightly then press and it takes the picture just like that really really cool so like you see here the camera application actually looks really simple which i really really like uh you swipe here and you go to video swipe here again you got superior auto and you got right here manual mode if you click right here you got all the mo all the things that you can actually manipulate you got white balance shutter speed focus and all that right there and of course here in settings you can actually adjust the iso and all that as well if you go ahead here to superior auto which uh, basically is the auto mode and right here you got the 20 megapixel which has 16 by 9 and right now if you want to go to 23 megapixel it just goes to 4 by 3 right here you got some more features as well so you can see that there's a lot of things you can actually customize there all same thing goes to video this phone actually records video at 1080p 30 frames per second and you can actually change that there as well it's going to tap right there finish that uh oh st started recording it's going to tap right there over here you have a couple ar effects panorama time shift creative uh, effect uh and sound photo ar is really awesome ar it, what it does is that it actually activates like uh, 
like AR characters in the, in the real world and you can actually manipulate with them and play around with them. Let's go and show you guys here. If it actually works here, I could actually show you guys on the video. Okay, good job right there. So uh, detecting the surface. Let's see if we can actually see something here. I don't think it will. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. There you go. Let's see. There you go. So right here, I can move the characters over here. Like you see, all these characters are AR, and it looks awesome. Tap right on one. Good job. And here you got a dinosaur as well. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. So, like you see, that has a really cool features, the camera and the fact that the front camera is also 16 megapixel is awesome with a flash there as well. Now, keep in mind, I had no idea that I was actually going to get this smartphone today. I just happened to go to Best Buy and I saw that the price dropped to $349 and I decided to go ahead and get it and make a couple videos for you guys. So, this video right here, I'm just going to show you, I'm just showing you an overview of the smartphone. Phone. I'm not going to show you guys a lot of gaming and all that, any gaming at all, but I'm going to make another video for gaming only. I'm going to show you guys a little, uh, some gaming done on this video uh, game, smartphone. And um, I also want to try the remote play feature to see if it actually works because right here, look at that. It actually has remote play application, which I don't know if it actually going to be compatible with this smartphone because this smartphone, like I said, it's a budget Sony smartphone. It's not a high end uh, Sony smartphone. Um, here, let's go and show you guys a couple photos that are actually included here on this smartphone so I can show you guys how cool the screen actually looks for a 1080p screen. I got to say this looks incredible. It looks really, really nice. And like you see there, the, the bezels on the sides are almost invisible, which is awesome. And of course, it does feel curvy on the sides as well. It's really, really nice. Look at that. That's really, really beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful colors. Look at that. That looks really nice. So, of course, like I said, I'm going to do a couple videos on this smartphone. Let me know if you want to see anything about this smartphone at all. Um, like, for example, gaming. I'm going to do a video for gaming. I'm going to try and do a video just for the camera, showing you guys how the camera and video works on this smartphone. And show you guys a little bit more other stuff as well. And, of course, I'm going to try to do a video for the remote play features right here if you tap and hold the screen you got these options right here which is widgets wallpapers themes you can actually apply different themes which will change the way the icons look and all that right here we got a couple wallpapers there we could switch to look at that that looks incredible that looks really really nice so right there again and no i'm not going to change the themes right now but i gotta say I'm really impressed with this smartphone. It looks really nice. It looks, it feels really smooth. And, uh, you know, yes, it's a big phone. But, of course, if you like smartphones with big screens uh, and 1080p, believe me, guys, the 1080p on this screen actually looks pretty damn awesome. And when you compare it, this is the Galaxy S8, which, of course, is uh, when I purchased it, it was around $800. Uh, this is how big it is compared to it. Uh, the Galaxy S8 has a 6.2 inch screen. And this has a 6.0 in screen, but of course, the, the aspect ratio here is 16 by 9, and this is like 18.5.5, 9, something like that. Um, and the lock screen, if we close here, I'm going to show you guys the lock screen right there. This is how it actually looks. And you can actually change the way the clock looks here and the front as well. A negative thing is that it doesn't have fingerprint. No, it doesn't. It's not water resistant as well. But, of course, you can use pattern to secure your smartphone and all that, or pin numbers as well. Um, if you press and hold here, you can tap right there and take a screenshot, just like that. Very, very easy to take screenshots on this smartphone. You could power off or restart right there. And, your, of course, your headphone jack is up here. So, if you hold the phone like that, your headphone jack is going to be going up this way.
So guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share this, um, how this phone actually looks. Um, like I said, I'm going to make more videos for you guys. I was not expecting to get this smartphone, but, you know, I was walking into Best Buy and I saw that the price was really low and it looks really awesome and they had the color that I like. You know, I couldn't just let it pass. But I, like I said, I'm going to leave a link for Amazon that it's at the same price right now and you could get it from there as well. So, guys, thanks for watching and let me know anything you want to see from this phone so I can make a video later on. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.